Brought to you by Excel, makers of inexpensive and high quality Windows and Android tablets. Great gadgets for less. Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We're at the BMW Experience at CES 2015. We're gonna take a spin in one of their i3 electric cars. These have a range of about 80 okay. miles, 80 to 100 miles and they have an option to add in a, a little generator so you can get an, a little extra boost, probably another 60 miles or so. So a good commuter kind of car, uh, completely electric, and we'll see how it, how it performs, and we'll compare it to the Tesla. All right, so we're in this i3 right now, and I kind of lied. I'm not going to take a test drive. The car is going to take us for a test drive. Uh, there's nobody in the driver's seat at the moment, and we're just waiting for clearance here, and uh, this car is going to drive us by itself. And I am, well, here we go. Um, and what's neat is that the car is being very cautious here, which is good. Um, it is moving around these boundaries here and taking us on a very slow drive. I'm sure they don't want to go faster than two miles an hour, which is the speed we are going at right now. But it is uh, correcting itself and driving us around here. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, really pretty, not bad of a driver in, uh, in a parking lot here. Now, this pedestrian's crossing, um, and it is slowing down for that pedestrian, and we have come to a stop, and I think that is the extent of our ride. But pretty cool that uh, we didn't hurt anybody, and we're <laughs> in an autonomous car. So we survived our trip in the BMW that was driving by itself. It was pretty cool. It's on it. It's not on an electronic track. It's actually looking at uh, the barriers to the left and the right and seeing the pedestrians in front. When this uh, woman uh, walked in front of the car, it actually slowed down a little bit faster than it may have otherwise. So it really is uh, out there sensing. And what's interesting about this technology is that uh, it can really drive faster than two miles per hour. Uh, but of course, there's safety considerations. And uh, it's a combination of technology and, and regulation, really, because governments have to be comfortable that these cars can uh, drive themselves safely enough to allow people to use them on uh, the roads. And at the same time, uh, the uh, technology needs to be perfect, or at least close to perfect, in order to get us there. So I think for the time being, we're going to see these technologies kind of creep into our daily driving experiences. You know, the lane uh, avoidance you know, uh, technologies and things that prevent accidents. We'll probably uh, see more development on that side, and eventually we'll start seeing cars do more things like we saw here, you know, summoning the car with a watch, having it pick you up, and then maybe having it drive you somewhere at some point in the future. So pretty exciting stuff and uh, had a good time over here at the BMW Experience.